Are you associated with this car, sir? Uh, yeah. What a magnificent automobile. That's right. I've never seen like an 83 year old, 84 year old, and a one year old. Wow. Rolls Royce, right next to each other. <laughs> Do you mind? I'm a podcaster. Can I, can I podcast you talking about your car? Do you yeah, mind? Yeah, you can do anything you want. Yeah. Really? Seriously? Yeah. Thank you. And your name is, sir? My name is John Waite. John Waite? My name yes. is Rick Holland. I'm pleased to meet you, sir. Hello, Rick. And this is your. 1929. It's a 1929 Rolls-Royce Phantom One, built in the United States. Really? And lots of people don't realize that they built them in the States, but they did for 10 years, from about 1922 to 1932. No kidding. Obviously, after the stock market crash in 1929, the market for these big cars like the Rolls-Royce and the Duesenbergs disappeared. So they kept the factory open, just assembling what was left until they closed it in 1932. And you've completely restored this magnificent vehicle. No, I haven't actually restored it at all. Really? It, uh, it was restored. To what extent it's been restored, I don't know. But it was done in the 60s. It was owned by a professor from Vanderbilt University at that time, and uh, he did whatever restoration has been done. I've had it six years, and basically all I've done... Uh, my, my goal is preservation, not restoration. I keep it running all the time. Uh, there's a, an all-British field meet in Van Dusen Gardens every year. Uh-huh. With all British cars. And this car has won the most elegant car award four times. Oh, I'll bet it has. Because it's different from anything else on the field. And it really stands out because of that. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's just... And can you tell me a little bit about the motor, sir? Well, it's 7.7 .7 liters in six cylinders. Straight six. Uh, it has dual ignition, so there are spark plugs both sides of the engine, two separate distributors. Um, uh, it's got a, uh, it's, it's basically just a huge engine. Yes. Uh, very simple to work with. Uh, I try to do all the maintenance myself, and uh, I, uh, I had problems with the clutch slipping at one point. And my son and I got into the clutch and made some adjustments, and I've been over the Coca Cola twice since then. So no kidding. So must have worked. Oh, <laughs> oh. I don't know if you are familiar with um, the author Clive Cussler. Have you ever read any of his books? No, I haven't. He's a collector of, of very old, fine cars like this. I'm, yeah. I'm going to send him the link to this podcast because this is yeah. just in beautiful shape. It is. Okay. You, I have uh, two. I have another one. Do you? Is that one. The best unrestored car at Van Dusen Gardens last Saturday. It's a 1955 Rolls Royce Silver Wraith. Oh. And it's a magnificent car, too. They're both uh, very special. Oh, I'll bet they are. This one, I, this is my shopping buggy. It's the one I take shopping. If it's a sunny day and I'm going down to Salem Foods, this is the car. You know, I, I see you. We live on Canterbury Avenue up Sumas Mountain. And yeah, is this the car that yeah, I see? Going up and down all the time. Yes, yes. Quite yeah. often. Yeah, it was. Save on just the bottom of the hill, and it's a big yeah. car park. Yeah. So I always take two spots. So if I, if I <laughs> went bet. straight in, I'd never get out of it. Yeah, yes, and with a car like There's this, no you want to take. <laughs> Tell me about the paint job. Is this lacquer? Do you know? I don't know. I, I'm thinking it could be the original paint job, because if you look at these fine lines, they're pretty much worn off in places. And what do you use on this paint job? Oh. A wax or um, a synthetic polish? or. What it's called that I use, it's just a polish. I must say, whenever I polish it, a little bit more of the red comes off, the burgundy comes off, yes. a little bit more of the black comes off. Yes. But um, I'm sure it's the original paint. Mm. And it's already 84 years old. So. Oh, they just, they don't make them, oh, this is, it just takes your breath away. Yeah, I skipped that off by mistake. I, uh, what happened was uh, these veins at the front need to be open. Uh, on, on the newer cars, they open automatically. Yes, on the Ford, yeah. But um, I was taking this down to uh, the, the, the park uh, just below where we live there. The Del Air Park. In order to get photographs for ICBC to get the collector plates. Right. And I forgot to open the shutters. Uh. And what happened was it boiled, mm -hmm. and then the antifreeze blew out the side. Hmm. And, it's, and I, didn't, I didn't clean it off quickly enough, and it stripped the paint. So, anyhow. It's a driver. It, it adds to the authenticity. It's a thousand miles a year. No kidding. Oh, 
just in beautiful shape. It's no, just this a is pleasure. A, this is a brand new one. A brand, brand new, new Rolls Royce. Wow. That's why the little lady disappears down the hole there. <laughs> so nobody can steal it. <laughs> right here. Yeah. Yes, yeah, because they're quite a collector's. People like to come and, and take them. They're vulnerable. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, if I'm staying in a hotel overnight, I take mine off and put it away in the hotel. You can take it off? Yeah. Wow. There's a special wrench which I call the wench wrench. <laughs> 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 and just a, just a cap. Fantastic. Well, sir, it was a genuine pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much. Um, look for the YouTube. Um, on, on, I'm going to put this on YouTube. It's just, yeah. it's got to. I'll gotta tell be. you where there's a beautiful photograph of it. Ah. On the Rolls Royce Owners Club website, okay. rroc.org. Okay. And there are only four pictures on the website, and this is one of them. And depending on when you click on it, it uh, as to which car happens to pop up when you open up the site. But if you then click on the home button and keep clicking on the home button, you'll see this car. Okay. I'll send you the link to the email. You got your email associated with that picture or no? No. Oh, okay. No. 